Having worked with lots of teachers in lots of schools around how to establish natural supports and peer relationships for students with significant disabilities, one of the really key themes that we've picked on, up on is the importance of starting small, finding early success before you start to expand this to a school-wide effort. When you're thinking about establishing peer support arrangements, to focus on maybe one student, one class at a time. Uh, establish peer support arrangements in that class, build some success, and then perhaps the next semester expand to one or two more classrooms. Think about what would be one or two points of influence that you could have in your school. Start small with them, implement these strategies, make sure that their staff, teachers, and students are confident and well supported in their roles, and you'll find success. And as you do, then you can reach out to what might be another classroom or another teacher we might begin to implement these strategies with. So as a school, a starting point might be to simply reflect on how and where are we providing services to students with significant disabilities right now? Do our students have opportunities to learn right alongside their classmates without disabilities? Are they in shared activities, doing the same things at the same times and in the same places? And as we reflect on our school and what happens in classrooms and in clubs, in cafeterias, in all the places where school happens, identify one or two places where you might have a, a significant impact and focus on those in the next year. If you can begin to pick one or two priority areas and rally school staff around those points of influence, you're much more likely to see success and see progress and to do so in ways that help them build their relationships and citizenship skills.